Hello! Welcome one and all to Let's Play Blood Fresh Supply. I'm one of my tacos. When we last left off, we had found the exit to the secret level of the first episode. We found the apparatus we need to access the secret exit, but it is locked behind a passcode. I do not remember the passcode, but we can take a couple guesses at it. The first one would try to be, let's try to, let's try the symbols of the keys in the orders that we found them. We found the dagger key first, then we found the eye, then we found the moon. That is the correct combination. You're going to the secret level, it says. That is a nice place to go, but we're not going there. Now we know the combination. Part of my quest to show you all the, all the secret levels and everything is because I want to show you all all the game. As a result, we're gonna go take a look down here. There's no reason to skip the rest of the level. Besides, there could prove to be Oh we are now choking to death. Okay, Caleb will choke. Just takes him a bit. There could be invaluable stuff back here. There's a gargoyle, that's for sure. They're a lot easier to deal with when they stay low. All three of those were double blasts. Four double blasts. Five double blasts to put them out. All we did coming over here was waste some ammo and I think that's about it. Waste some ammo, take some health loss. I don't remember if any of these walls open. I don't think any of them do. You can throw these at these, which I would normally advise doing something along the lines of, because guess what? These can actually be gargoyles, too. That's right. Stone gargoyles will hide like that. Can't get up there, not without jumping boots. I don't think shooting that skull does anything. We still missed a bunch of secrets. That's okay. Hit the switch to end the level. We're not going to. Since there was nothing of any value, we're just going to load. And we're going to switch it to this. I actually did not look it up. I just guessed that it was the order in which you found the keys. And that succeeded. So we're going to the secret level, kids. Not too shabby. Could be better, could be worse. Welcome to the secret level. Unfortunately, we do need to start this off with a save. Because it is a fresh new level. This is part two of the carnival. Which will make some people very happy. Makes me quite sad. I don't like the spooky carnivals. But it's part of the game. Also, look at that armor. 200, 200, 200. When they said super armor, they weren't kidding around. I probably should have went around and tried to hunt down another heart before I picked up um, that life seed. Also... I was going to say something. What was I going to say? I don't remember now. Too late now. Ah! Gargoyle! Hey, you... This is not a confined space for a gargoyle to fight. I mean... What I was trying to say is that's not a great spot to fight it. Oh, when's the hurting stop? I hate those things. Whoa! You heard that, right? Suddenly. Somebody's taking swipes at me.
you hear that, don't you? The whoosh, whoosh, whoosh. Welcome to the House of Horrors. No refunds. I don't want to go in the House of Horrors, but we're going to go in the House of Horrors. As soon as I finish looking around outside. Hello, Mime. You can get up here without the use of jump boots. Is there anything up here to find? Other than the sound of burning and fire? No, not particularly. Well, when life gives you mines, shoot them. Sometimes you'll get a life upgrade. I still hear that whooshing noise. Over the lips, through the gums, look out to me, here I come. Indeed. There were worse ways you could have came out of that. Isn't that a lovely sound? Okay, let's keep moving. Ninja! Oh, we can't read that fun sign anymore! Damn you! I was expecting a cultist, but sure, I'll blast zombies too. Ah! Uh, now we'll never know how tall we need to be in order to ride! Ooh! Woman corpses! You know, that might seem like it's not worth noting, but in the day? That probably created more issues than most anything else. Well, we can still see the guy's face of what was. I'm sorry. He will be forever remembered. Hello, skeleton. Right. Let's go ahead and grab that life essence. There's still lots of whooshing going along. Thought we could get rid of these. Oh, you can. You just have to hit them the right way. Sometimes it's hearts and stuff in those. Okay, we're quick saving before we go down the tube. We are running out of useful ammo. We have 135 bullets, which won't last us very long in the Tommy gun. And we're down to 34 shells. Sounds like a lot, but you go through shells crazy in this game. Just think, for every zombie, it's at least two. Firing the single barrel definitely won't put them down, and sometimes the double barrels isn't enough to do it either. I want those bullets. Well, ask and you shall receive. The game has rewarded me. Have to be careful because there will be enemies along this path who will just start shooting us. Also, this is going to get really fast. But we are going to move against it. We want to slow down here. Let's try to do this. They can barely get us on here. Their movement is just as slowed down as ours is. Ow! We got blitzed there pretty hard. I don't know if we can work our way back up. We can. Okay, good. We're actually going to go back to the beginning here. Because this is now the difference between life and death. 
if I can remember how I use my items. Here we are. Let's put some boots here. We got hit really hard there. Spooky, it's spooky. Normally you would just get dropped. Cool. We are nearly dead again. Time to use that doctor's bag, folks. I don't know where that guy is. If I could just get it over the side there. Well, I blew up somebody. But not the cultist, I don't think. Ooh. Okay. Let's go down. Ooh, we'll have to pick that up. I'm also surprised we actually made that jump at all. Okay. I don't mind that, I guess. My brains? What makes my brain so good? That one will get back up, yeah. He he took a, a half shot at best. Why? Why did I do that? Also, why do I throw TNT down there? I have to remember that doesn't work at all. Well, we're still alive. Definitely want to stay crouched when you're on that. That requires a key that we actually have. Guns akimbo. They can swim. They're quite okay at it. All right. And we're down. Oh, shoot. When was our last quick save? Oh, man. Oh, boy, we're going to be here for a lot of this, kids. Oh, no. Well, this is what happens when you don't save. Give me those bullets. All right, we're gonna preemptively use one of these. Didn't take as much harm there, but I still took harm. We'll go through this again. What do we want to use here? Tommy gun, I think. Excellent. We went through that quite well. We haven't gone back for the other doctor's bag yet. If you give them the chance, these guys will just blitz you. Alright, we need to try this again. Alley-oop! Your whole body tenses up for that kind of jump. Well, 
We made it over here significantly healthier than we did the first time, considering we haven't gone back for that doctor's kit. But, let's resolve a quick save. Let's not make the same mistake that we made before. I'm just trying to get through this level. <laughs> Blood does have some, like, really good... Excuse me, sorry. Blood does have, like, some really good levels, but... Not this early episode. Not not these ones. We're, we're going to the ice ship soon. I think that actually would have been the next level if we didn't go to the secret. When we get to the ice ship, things get better. That's a good level. Basically, all the levels that, that choose just to be video game levels and not based around some horror theme are the better ones. Damn it. Let's use this. We are getting ripped apart in this area here. Jeez. Oh. Back here again. You know what? Let's expend some flares. It's basic ammo. It'll save us some shotgun for later on, you know? The flare gun is not an ideal weapon uh, for tense situations, but if you're in a situation where you're not in a rush to kill things and you can afford to just kind of hang back and let people burn to death, it's a good weapon. The problem is, it's an overtime weapon. That's why it's not great for, for a tense situation. When you need somebody dead five minutes ago, the flare gun is not the thing that you want to use, because it'll take time. But, if you're trying to conserve ammo for the more important guns, like notice now we have 65 shotgun shells, we would have expended like 30 in this room, based off their, our average of getting through here. Um, if, you, if you're trying to save uh, ammo for the other guns, it's important to do. And we're going to have to quick save here, because this part is kicking my can. There's a reason they give you a Kimbo here. Like You need to cut through these guys. I don't think... I mean, I could, I could try coming through double tapping the barrel, the, like the shotguns, but... We would eat through that ammo so quick. I think using the Tommy guns is the way to go, but they are butchering me. My regular armor is basically gone. I have 31 of that left. That's why I'm starting to take so much more damage now. There's a delay in the fire from when you pick up the Akimbo to when you can actually start shooting, which gives that guy all he needs to, to kill you. I could cheese this guy out. And I will. And I am rewarded with a heart. From the moment these guys are on screen, you're taking hit scan damage. use this. I also want to use Beast Vision. Good time to use that, I think.
Okay. So far, not too bad. Our gun the Kimbo upgrade is gone. But we are sawing through these guys relatively well. But I want to get back into here away from the blinking lights and do a quick save. And actually call it a video. So, when we come back, as soon as I'm able to actually quit the game here, I'll sign off. When we come back, trying to make it through this level, I think the worst part of that area is behind us. I don't know how many of them are, are there moving ahead, but hopefully less of them. We're down to three napalm shots. It was worth it to clear out all those zombies. They're not hard to clear out, but it, it would have cost us a lot of our other, other resources. Using the flare gun there against that many would have taken too long. I'll see you all later. This is Buonamitako signing off. Take care, bye-bye, and thanks for watching.